Hey there, crafty friends. This is Tiffany219. Uh, it's been quite a while. Lots have been going on in my life, but I'm ready to get back on YouTube and start cranking out some fun, fun stuff for you guys. Um, what I've got here today is these really cute embellishment purses and um, the inspiration behind making these purses are the coffee sleeves that you get from like your favorite coffee place. Um, most of you know I absolutely love Starbucks. I love coffee, period. But um, I have been accumulating mine, so I save mine, and this is what I have been using them for. So let me show you um, this one here first. This, uh, I kind of did Valentine, obviously Valentine theme. Like this is the front and I did a snap here. And then I put the half or the flat back pearls on the bottom as the little feet. And then I used the same ones here as the little rivets on the purse flap. And here you can see is the snap. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. So you can see, if I turn it sideways, you can see that it's on a hinge system and each of the coffee sleeves is a pocket for whatever goodies you want to gift your friend or your swap partner. So let me show you what I use to stuff mine. I, um, put in some die cuts and of course I made this little girl here. I love these little girls. And then of course some store-bought hearts. Um, I like this cute little bag topper here with some stickers. I made the bag topper. It was a die. And then I made the bow out of the Dollar Tree. Um, it's kind of like tool, but it's not really. It's stiffer, but I'll just call it tool. And then the Dollar Tree stickers. And then on each pocket, I put trim at the top just to give it a finished look. And then this one, I put one of these bears. I've been making a, a whole bunch in different pinks and reds. And then I put in some very cherry sprinklets, which I believe I purchased these from um, Urban Gem. She has the cutest stuff and great prices. And then I put in some trim because who doesn't like trim? So there's some beads and some pink rickrac and some really pretty pink ribbon. And this is a die from Allie. And then these are scented stickers from Dollar Tree. And then this one here. This is from Allie. And then in this cute little girl, I just like love her. Her cute little purse, and then I threw in some jemmies and just made a just a simple bag topper, nothing that's out of a die. Here's more trim, and then there's this one, and um, this has the a memory dex card, so it fits perfect in these pockets to, to gift a memory dex card. Isn't she cute? I just love how that turned out. Little winking heart right there, so cute. 
And as you see, when you put the memory dex card in there, it fits perfect. So let me gather up these things and show you the, the other one that I made. It's kind of Christmas themed. This one here I took and double the, um, the straps because I wanted to use this paper and it was wrapping paper and it's way too thin. So I doubled that and then added some sequin trim. And then this one has just a Velcro closure. And here is the first pocket. I love these little cookie cutter embellishments. And these are little hearts. This die um, originally comes with a starlight mint and I just changed it because this was kind of front, like I kind of wanted to make it to where it was like Christmas going into Valentine's Day for whoever I gifted it. So I did two of those. And then I made um, a bag of bows that they could assemble themselves, different sizes. As you can see, there's the bigger one and the little baby one. It's one of my favorite dies. And that's the next one. And I made, first let's look at these, these cute little doodle bug um, coffee cups. So cute. And then these are coffee mugs with, um, you can attach it or you don't have to, but I made it to where it was like sticking out of the, in the pocket, sticking out of the cup. Um, this here I took, come on, focus. This is just foam and I made it look like marshmallows and then I painted or colored this with the brown and then kind of toasted the marshmallows a little bit. Okay, come on, there we go. So it looks like they're actually in the liquid. So there's that one. And that one. I love their little faces. I love doing faces and eyes. And here is another one. And then I gifted a little set of um, stamps. Hug in a mug. Coffee is a hug in a mug. I don't give a sip. Sending you a crafty hug and a mug. No crafting without coffee. Love you a whole latte. Coffee is always the best inspiration. So there's that. And then on the back of this one, I did um, a pocket using lace where I inserted these cute little gingies that uh, the person can use as embellishments. So they're just hanging out. And there's that little guy. And then this here was uh, something I got off of Etsy and I printed it on um, 110 pound cardstock so it's nice and thick for to use as die cuts. So there's this guy, this little cute family. Look at this little recipe card, isn't that adorable? little whisk, and then a cookie cutter. These guys are so cute. And then I did the back of that with the snowflake. And then there's this one. I did three aprons. One that could be Valentine if, you know, actually two of them could, and then Christmas. But look at these so tiny. I cut this out of um, a doodle bug paper. It was like the background paper 
the tiniest little gingerbreads you I have ever seen. So there's three aprons, and then there's these two little gingies. So yeah, these purses are really easy to make. There's no dies. There's no SVG file. It's like super old school and a lot of fun. And if I want to make it, I usually try to make a couple at a time just because I always like to have something extra on hand just in case something comes up and I don't have time to make something but would like to send something out. So when you do this, I recommend making two, maybe three, whatever. Um, and then you'll have one on hand. So another thing um, that's really cute that you can do with these, this guy, I think he's kind of um, super embellished, but if, it's, if you don't want to embellish it too much, you can do like a, a simple, include a simple little purse dangle around that part right there. Or you can take like the Dollar Tree pens that have the little loop and you can hang the pen off of that. Someone um, sent me my very first one of these um, with the pen dangling and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. I was like a little girl carrying it around my mom's house. I was like, hee hee, I got a purse. But anyways, these are super cute and a whole lot of fun to make. So let's get started. <laughs> 